And welcome back. Today we are going to compare our sword and board to our two-handed weapon fighter. Lazelle will be re representing our two-handed weapon fighter, and Tet will be representing our sword and board character running a longsword, and the duelist giving us um, 1d4 plus 5. Lazelle will have 2d6 plus 3. Lazelle, because the average of a d6 is three and a half. I realize you can't roll a half, but bear with me. So that would be seven damage. Plus three would be ten damage. That should be her average damage per round. So we'll keep an eye on whether or not we're doing above or below average damage. No one um, our sword this. and board character, half of a d8 is four and a half. Plus five would be nine and a half. So we'll say nine damage as our average. We'll round down. And uh, we'll keep an eye and see if we're doing average damage or below or above. So let's uh, let's get this fight started. Now I have ran this the fight watching me. Um, three times before, just to collect numbers. Um, and so Our far, scribes. sword and board is and at eighty-seven. This must be eight. total so damage or nine point six six damage per turn. And that was um, over nine attacks, pretty much. Um, and our two-handed weapon fighter was at 94 total damage or 10.44 damage per turn. So pretty close to their average per turn. And it's it's a one-point difference. I mean, really. But we'll see how That's we do on this one so you can see. So hopefully we get a good representation. Just so you can make a... A better decision on how you want to build your character. Hells. Something just woke up down her here. back. Let them come. And my green doorbell is going. And Lazel with a miss to start. That's horrible. I feel alive. Another fight. Let's go. Uh, 13 that we just hit that was above average damage um, So we'll see how it pans out before then but it, it should level out Waiting for the skeletons to go, you know, it's not like we're trying to record a video Let's go come on come on. That's it. I know old bones hard to move in the morning we are going to cast Bless to give us a better chance to hit. I'm keeping these two back. They're just going to wake us up when we end up getting put to sleep. Alright, Michelle comes back with a 12. Which will probably end up critting after that miss. for some bloody work. We hit for a 7, which is a little bit below damage. Um, so we're starting to average out there.
Zell's hitting a little above average. She's had a 12 and a 14, but she did start with a miss, so we are making up for that miss. Despite everything. And we come back and answer with a 12 of our own. Uh, we should have two more. Where is the other one? There. Well, we'll pull up this way. And Lazelle again with a third. <laughs> Sorry about the green doorbell. Again, making up for that miss. Um, it's kind of odd. I, I've noticed when we've gotten misses, we uh, we tend to make up for it with the damage. And now Le Lazelle hits for an 8. After she's been doing good, making up for that miss, she hits for an 8. So, um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 attacks with Sword and Board. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 attacks with our uh, two-handed weapon fighter. So, let's see for this combat round uh, how we did. We for the sword and board, we've got 13 plus 7 plus 12 plus 8 divided by 4. That is 10 damage um, per round on average, which is pretty close to our 9.5 that we were supposed to get. We rounded down for 9. And then our two-handed weapon fighter is a 0 for the miss. 12 plus 14 plus 13 plus... Eight divided, divided by the five, that puts her at about 9.4, which is about one point. Now, if we um, do the math again and take out her miss, 12 plus 14 plus 13 plus 8 divided by 4. Oops. Ah, sorry about that. Where was I? Okay, 12 plus 14 plus 13 plus 8 divided by equals 47 divided by 4, 11 and a half, or 11.75, um, three quarters. So, I mean, that's pretty close to that 10 damage that we said either way we look. You know, whether we add the miss or not, we're, we're staying around that 10 damage. Um, so let's let's add we'll take the best four from this round um, of the two-handed weapon fighter and all four of the attacks of the sword and board we'll add it to the prior attacks that we had so sword and board had 87 over nine attacks plus 13 plus 7 plus 12 plus 8 divided by that would be 13 we get 9.76, so I mean we're 
right there pretty close to our average damage. Um, it's a two-handed weapon fighter, had 94, plus 12, plus 14, plus 13, plus 8, divided by 13. That is 10.84. So as you can see, as we add more numbers, because I didn't count the miss, and we were like 11 and 3 quarter on the two-handed weapon fighter, but as we add it to the total numbers and we keep adding numbers to it, we stay pretty close to that 9.5 and, and that 10. I mean, uh, Lazelle's a little little heavy. The, the first time I ran through this, she ended up uh, just dominating. Um, yeah, her, her, our first combat session was uh, a 20 for a crit and then followed up by a 15. So those really stacked her numbers. And then she had another crit in there. Um, didn't have as many crits. Now, if you do a crit based, uh, Lazelle is probably going to come out on top um, just because she's got more numbers to, or more dice to, to, to roll double on. Um, and that's... That's crits are only going to be effective if you can always give yourself advantage and if they add elven accuracy to the game. Well, it's really going to change on how we build because the two handed weapon fighter with elven accuracy and a way to give ourselves advantage all the time, um, which if they add the optional rule of flanking, um, will be pretty easy. <laughs> Just something to keep in mind. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Um, maybe you found something as far as the number crunch that might be better. Um, I'll see you in the next video.